Yeah. Some will die for this, some will grind off this But what's the matter if it's all in vain? Yeah. We live our lives for this, and we get high off this When your hands up and you call our names Saying people in the spot if you don't stop Red shield knows the plot if you don't stop Bad neighbors on your block if you don't stop uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. All right, everybody, Matt here from Around Square. Uh, got the items together for our June 2022 product launch. And uh, I'm just gonna run through them here real quick for you as an intro. Uh, don't have a ton of stuff this month, uh, it's, but it's, we got like a little of everything, so it's gonna be a fun one. Um, I know people are pretty hyped for the acrylic collection, so I'm gonna get right into that. Um, Okay, I think best way to introduce it is probably to like show you all of the pieces side by side. So this is like the first time that we are doing a full on like collection of matchy matchy stuff all at once. So we're gonna do uh, Ultras, uh, Beglary, and Knucklebones, and the uh, acrylic Chetki all at the same time in matching colors. So uh, these are you know, the acrylic material is one that we've had around for a while with uh, the uh, acrylic knuckle bones. And people have seen floating around some uh, acrylic versions of like the MK Ultras and so on. Uh, but yeah, we got, um, we got red that I just showed you. We got the green and then we got black and uh, the black that I'm going to show you here is like a little incomplete because I've commandeered this, uh, these beads here for my own set that I mashed up with green. Uh, and we actually don't have uh, the rest of the beads yet. Our, the shipment is uh, like out for delivery right now. So hopefully we'll get it today. Uh, but yeah, that's we're a little limited on the inventory just for the ultras. Um, so I'll start with them. Uh, we've got uh, plans to do a short form and a long form version of these. So uh, they're the common beads, just like the Delrin version. Uh, they're slightly lighter than the Delrin and they're like the clack is like a tiny bit crisper. And uh, apart from that, I don't know, they're, they're polished. They feel really nice. I've uh, paired them up with stainless steel, which I, I did them both ways. I did them with a tie bead as well as stainless steel. And I just liked the balance with the stainless steel uh, a little bit better. Uh, just it's heavier, and so you, if you're doing kind of uh, manipulation from the end, uh, it's like just like feels a little bit more balanced. It's not like a 50-50 balance. I, uh, you know, if you're if you're playing them in a two kind of two stock like that, I uh, you might want to go like two thirds, one third. But yeah, it's a great set. I'm I'm, I'm loving them. The long form, I, I don't know. I, there's something about the long form that I just really like. You get that double wrap uh, to wear them on the wrist, and uh, I find that like nice and clean. The uh, tassel is not that long. Uh, the short form is going to be also like same spec as the short form uh, Delrin version, and the pricing is going to be similar to the Delrin uh, on all of these guys as well. Yep. So I, you know, I carry them around in the uh, in the pocket like this, just with the tail hanging out, and then you can grab them whenever you want or put them on your wrist. So yeah, that's the uh, the black version. Uh, the black will be, of course, completely black uh, with the black. Um, tassel beads as well. And then we've got the red, which is pretty great, and the green. Lots of people have been going crazy for the green when I post it, but the, the red and the black are also nice. The black is a little bit more understated. It doesn't have quite as much of like the showy swirls. Um, the, the green and the red are really striking. You occasionally get like a single bead that, that doesn't have a lot of like uh, striping in it or whatever, uh, but that just like, it adds nice contrast. And it's just like, it's just random uh, when they have the the big uh, billets of the material and then they cut them up and, and machine them into the beads. Uh, that's how that's how it lands. Okay, so we got these guys, uh, short form and long form, uh, similar pricing to the Delrin models. Uh, and, all right, next up we got the uh, the Beglary version of the the same thing there. We got the, uh, the commons beads in acrylic paired with stainless steel uh, commons beads. And these have a really nice weight to them. Um, You'll see that I've put the stainless steel beads on the inside here. Uh, that's different from how I usually set up the sets that we sell, but the nice thing about uh, the multi-bead setups is that you can configure them kind of how you want. And it's um, it makes a pretty big difference, uh, especially with this, because the weight difference between the 
stainless steel and the acrylic is so much. If you put the uh, the stainless bead on the outside, it slows down the play, you get way more momentum. Uh, they end up being a little bit less nimble, uh, but more stable. Like if you're doing doing a lot of like wraps and learning rolls and so on, uh, a lot of people might like to have the weight more uh, out towards the end because then it kind of, it just kind of anchors and stays in place a little bit more. Uh, but if you're if you're wanting something a little bit more nimble, they play way more nimbly if you put the the weight uh, on the inside because then that's like you know you're you're manipulating it closer to the whatever like the the fulcrum or the axis of rotation or whatever and so it's it, it just moves more easily. So that's how I like them. It feels lighter when you've got the uh, the stainless steel on the inside. It feels heavier when you have the on the outside. Okay, again, uh, black, green, and red for these guys. Uh, then moving on, we've got the uh, Chet Key, the Remishop Chet Key model of the same thing. We've paired these uh, with the stainless steel uh, mirror polish accent. I, I should say like the stripe. The, so, so this is how they're going to sell. We I decided they're a little bit lighter than Delrin on their own. So I decided not to sell these guys just like straight pure acrylic. Uh, they've all got the stainless steel stripe on them. And that's just... Um, uh, I think it kind of, at this point, it goes a little bit beyond personal preference. I think it, it's actually, uh, I dare say, objectively, like a little bit of a, of a better, easier to learn on setup. You, if you went full acrylic, lighter than the Delrin, it would be really extremely light and not an optimal experience for most people, unless you really know what you want. Um, anybody that really is like, has their heart set on uh, like, pure straight acrylic all the way down. Uh, include a note on your order and we can string them up for you that way. Uh, just swap out the stainless steel beads. Uh, we're gonna price them again, similar to the, the uh, Delrin set. Uh, but I, I just really, I really, really like the weight distribution of the stainless steel stripe on them. I think it looks really sharp. And I think for like almost everybody, it's gonna be a better experience to have this set up rather than straight acrylic, okay? So that's what we're doing. Um, you know, I've got my own set here that I'm mashing up. Uh, it's got the green in there and it's got the stainless. We're doing the accent packs on these. We're not uh, at this point doing accent packs on the ultras just because we're kind of limited in beads and and uh, yeah, we may at some time in the future. But for the the check key, we have enough, and uh, I'm I'm happy to do the accent packs and and you know people can can mix and match and put their own little mutant sets together, All right? So that's uh, the third item in the acrylic collection. Onto the fourth and final for now is uh, these guys, the uh, acrylic knuckle bones. So we've had these around before in different colors, but this time uh, we managed to like purchase material in a size and volume that was enough to um, do everything matching from the same material stock. And you really, if you want color matching, you really have to buy the material all at once and use it. So we got, again, the red swirl, black swirl, and uh, the kind of turquoisey green, okay? Uh, all super pretty. I like them all a lot. Okay. Then the last thing for this launch is these guys. I haven't hyped these up online nearly enough. Uh, they're they're super stunning. But this is uh, these are aluminum uh, and uh, of course anodized in the black and the kind of what do you call that like uh, bright blue and then sandblasted in the natty and. Uh, I don't want to bang these up by demonstrating them, but I've got my own set that I've done uh, with just uh, black with the uh, turquoise or uh, electric blue in there. Okay, and I don't know. I, I really like the the finish on these. I, to be honest, I haven't put a lot of play into the natty uh, sandblasted finish, uh, just because I we don't have a ton of inventory and I don't want to uh, burn through them myself. But the uh, the finish on the anodized sets is like kind of polished and nice. And it has like good grip to it. And even I've played these quite a bit and like I'm, they're showing some little ding marks and stuff, but uh, so far the, the anodization is like fully intact. It hasn't broken through anywhere. You know, like aluminum is a soft material and, and the anodization will eventually wear down if you're uh, playing them hard and stuff. But uh, it, it takes a while. For those of you who have played Buglary for a while, you, uh, you know the drill. Uh, and they just like, they show their age, but they come, kind of become more personalized over time. And, and that's part of the process, right? So 
uh, yeah, we got these. Uh, these are going to be priced similar to the stainless steel sets that we have uh, online already. Uh, cost for production is similar and uh, yeah, it's just right in that zone. And we will have the accent packs available for the aluminum as well. All right. So I think that's it for this video. Uh, yeah, uh, hopefully a little bit of a shorter one. Yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's it. No teasers at the moment. I'm gonna, gonna save that maybe for next time. Expecting a bunch of mail in the next little while. And yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, no luck sacks this month. Uh, just the goodness that I've showed already. A little bit of everything and hope to see you there. It's gonna be Friday. I'll get a newsletter uh, ready in the next few days, couple days, I guess. And uh, there'll be a password for early access. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Some will die for this, some will grind off this But what's the matter if it's all in vain? Yeah. We live our lives for this and we get high